Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thanks very much for watching that EOX Mobile compilation video today. Two patients in this compilation video. Now you can see right at the entrance to this canal, we've got a very soft, mushy type of wax around the outside edge here, usually because the patient's used a few softening drops. But in this case, uh, there is a lot of sort of wetter, mushier wax as well that's gone all the way down to the eardrum. So not the easiest of removals to do. Now you can see we've got the standard size ulna tube in here and we're just pulling this wax. We're trying to to detach it first of all but unfortunately because it's not a solid block oh there's a little bit of skin coming you can look at that coming away there's a long sort of strip of skin coming down the side you can see it just coming off there we've switched down to the fine end just to minimize any clarinetting there just to take that little bit of a uh, little bit of dry skin out um, what we're trying to do here is detach it from the canal wall but what you can see is we've got this slightly softer consistency of wax now yesterday's video uh, no not yesterday uh, what day was it Wednesday Wednesday's video <laughs> sorry guys um, it was uh, very very hard plugs of wax now you can see it's a lot softer as we're trying to detach by moving it from one side of the canal wall to the other it's just sort of bending the wax rather than it actually detaching so it's quite firmly held on and we saw that dry piece of skin we just took away there so that's going to be sort of binding this you can see just to the left hand side that little strip of dry skin coming away there as well and that's going to be holding this plug of wax right down on top of the uh, on, on top of the skin there so we're just breaking little bits off not ideal i mean with with the suction tube, you can see I've introduced a little bit of olive oil here. With the suction tube, because it's breaking little soft, tiny pieces off, what you tend to find, it, it's almost like a like a punch into the wax. It takes a, a section out and that just blocks the suction tube straight away, right at the entrance. Uh, just let you know, guys, if you are watching this on TikTok, we'll be splitting this video into a few different parts. Check out the comment section below and you'll find the link to the next part in that one. Um, and guys, if you are enjoying these videos, don't forget you can like, share, follow, subscribe, heart, I think that's everything. <laughs> that would be absolutely fantastic if you don't mind do that, would be great. Um, we're just starting to get a little bit of movement to this wax now. You can see it's really starting to come away from the canal. As we've got a grip then, we saw the whole thing just, just, just sort of twist slightly. We can see the color difference as well. Look, see we've got to this darker section of wax, almost like this sort of, uh, this seam of darker wax running through uh, this plug here. And every time we're taking a bit, we can actually see the plug just, just inching forward ever so slowly so it is on its way there we are you can see there's just a little tiny bit more movement to it now it's just got that little bit of a rocking motion going on so it's getting there we just need to get this one da, there you go you saw that pull forwards then just a little bit of a detachment and we can see that whole thing's coming forwards now let's hope it doesn't stick uh, back to the canal wall as we move it down the olive oil is going to help with that it's going to stop it from adhering again uh, but it's coming away very very nicely there nice little plug let's get into this next section there we go, you can see it starting to come forwards, but see as it's coming down, as we roll this wax down the canal, uh, you can see as it, as it rests on the next part of the canal, it's sticking, it's this really kind of juddery movement down the canal, but it's getting there. Now what I can see is beyond this wax, I can see a section that's stuck right down on top of the eardrum. Now you can see how sticky this type of wax is, um, which means that that wax is gonna be stuck to the eardrum down there. Um, now I'm hoping it's, there's a little bit more, uh, it's a little bit more solid because it means the whole thing will peel off, but looking at that, you can see straight away that that is not gonna be particularly solid uh, further beyond. We've got this little horseshoe shaped piece of wax coming away now. So we're just grabbing that. We've had to switch down to the fine end only because if we use the standard size on the tube, you just wouldn't get the grip. There we are. You can see that's really coming away nicely there. A little bit of an awkward shape, obviously with that U shape to it or that horseshoe shape. As you're bringing this out, you've, you've kind of brought it down this way. Now we have to sort of twist it to try and get onto the side of it and then bring it out that way. Uh, a little bit of a uh, little bit of maneuvering needed in this particular section there we go it's starting to come away don't forget guys if you suffer with earwax problems and obviously if you live here in the uk <laughs> a few people last week i go to canada there's the philippines i think there's a few i don't mind yeah no problem at all um, but you can see it uh, if you do suffer with these problems you live in the uk check out the channel description or the bio if you're watching it on a different platform and uh you'll get a link to our website it's also got the contact details in there as well so you can come and see myself or the lovely mr taylor green who we'll be seeing a few videos of next week and uh and you can come along and see one of us and we'll get you sorted out so you can see that kind of mushy layer. We're just going to add a, a quick once over here on the outer part of the ear canal. There we go. 
Lovely. And we're just going to take this little, there's a little section you can see to the top left corner there. We're just going to start to peel some of this off. Super, super sticky bits. Now you will see a little bit down at the bottom of the eardrum there as well. Now that is so thin, it's like an oil. Um, so what I would suggest this patient does next time they're in a bathroom shower is just give their ears just a, a quick little sort of swill and what they'll find is that it'll take those little couple of pieces off. The reason we don't take those off, and you will see that I think in this, this patient's uh, other ear canal, they have a very, very mushy wet wax all over the eardrum. Now that's really difficult to do with suction. Imagine obviously your eardrum, this is what it looks like before, sorry, I keep down this because I'm distracted. This is what it looks like afterwards. <laughs> Uh, what you can see with, uh, with that sort of really mushy wax or any sort of thinner, softer layer on the eardrum. Um, obviously when it's on the canal wall, you can kind of pass over it and draw the suction tube back and it'll suck a lot of that sort of wetter wax in. When it's stuck down on the eardrum like that, you can't do that. You can't scrape across the eardrum because obviously you, you run the risk of perforation. Uh, it's, and besides that, it, it is really, really uncomfortable if you do that on the eardrum. So what you tend to have to do is you hover with this, it's difficult to show you this, let's do a side on. You hover just above the eardrum and you take little sort of scoopy bits off and you, you work your way along a lot of the time in sort of lines up and down the eardrum. And what that does, it takes little little sort of circles of that softer wax off. So you'll still end up with some remnants on there just because it would be too uncomfortable for the patient to remove. And don't forget, you've got a suction tube that's like this. If you've got a very thin rem, like that, very thin, that way, very thin round it like that. As you come down, it's not going to suck that little bit off. You, the only way to get it off is going to scrape it off. So you will leave little tiny bits on there, and that's absolutely fine. You know, the next time a patient has the bath or shower, it'll just wash that off. It won't, it won't cause any, any issues as far as that's concerned. So you can see we have a super mushy wax, and I would say proportion-wise of the patients we see. I'd say this probably accounts for a good 50-60% of the patients we see this kind of softer, wetter, mushier wax. A lot of the time as well, um, obviously here in the UK we have the NHS so you get free medical provision. Um, and a lot of people are, are, you know, are not used to sort of having to pay for treatment of bits and pieces. So a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll use every single drop known to man uh, to try and clear this out because the waiting times are a little bit longer here in, in the NHS since COVID. Um, and then by the time they get to us, because they can't wait any longer and the drops haven't really worked, oh my goodness me, the, the ear canal is normally just, the wax is just everywhere it shouldn't be which makes it a lot harder to clear out but we're getting this one nice and clear today you can see it's coming away oh don't forget there is a second patient this compilation as well guys make sure you stay tuned for that one as well after this one uh, but you can see this really kind of softer layer we've got this harder nugget that's right in the middle of all that uh, all that mushy wax and you'll see what i mean about that eardrum this is really wet mushy sticky uh, it's like a sludge basically now you can see what i'm talking about here it's very, very difficult to remove. So the first thing we've got to do is we've got to use the fine ends. You're only taking smaller, smaller pieces off. Uh, I've popped some more olive oil in just trying to encourage this to come off the eardrum because it's super, super sticky. Um, but it's just working our way down in that anterior recess. There you go. You can see what I mean about hovering just above. Watch how it sort of, there you go, jumps off the eardrum. So we're not actually touching the eardrum there. What we're doing is hovering just above, which is allowing that to get sucked through. Um, but you can see it really doesn't want to come away easily. There we are, just working away. Like I said, along, just trying to peel this off. There you go. You can see it just starting to lift a little bit out of the recess there as well. So it is getting there. Uh, thank you guys for all your comments as well. I did read through them this morning before I came along uh, into clip. Lots of people mentioned, yes, I have new glasses. Uh, these aren't actually my normal glasses. I lost my normal glasses. <laughs> I went out for a ride on my motorbike, uh, took my helmet off, put my glasses in my lap, put my helmet back on, rode off, forgot my glasses were in my lap, I lost them on the road somewhere. Um, so these are my, these are actually my reader glasses, it makes it a bit easier for me to see uh, the screen there. But uh, yeah, you'll see me changing glasses quite a bit, so I'm on my backup pairs at the moment. Uh, so we're just working our way along all of these bits and pieces. There you go, it's just coming away really nicely. You can see very, very slowly working our way along, um, just trying to take these little tiny pieces off, get as much of this off the drum as we possibly can. You saw that little movement there. Do you see that little flinch, that kind of little jerk in the camera? That's because we accidentally just touched the anterior recess, the, the ridge in the ear canal with the side 
of the uh, fine end and you saw the reaction from the patient, they, they flinched. Now this is why we talk about you know, trying to clear the eardrums. You've got to be so, so careful. And this is why we leave some of the bits and pieces behind sometimes because you imagine you've got your suction tube sitting on the eardrum and that patient flinches. Although we've got the bridge, sometimes what can happen is you, you might accidentally move sideways and that might just just sort of catch the eardrum there. Uh, four and a half centimeters, just under two inches. So yeah, so that's why we sometimes leave those little bits behind, uh, just more for patient comfort and safety more than anything else really. There's lots and lots of mushy bits. So this is our second patient in the compilation here. You can see a, again, very, very deep piece of wax. And this is almost bang on top of the eardrum, I would say here. You can see it's kind of smudged all around the outside edge as well. So we're just lifting this up with a standard size on the tube. Uh, I was hoping I was gonna come away as one big plug. Now, what we can see straight away now is as we pulled out, we've got this layer of skin. Now, see the similarities between those two pieces of wax we just saw. You know, we had those loose bits of skin, the color. You know, you do tend to find your wax falls into different categories and you kind of get to know them after a little while. So we knew this one was gonna be a little bit mushy, a little bit wet, uh, at least a little piece of dry skin running through the middle of it. And exactly the same thing. Can you see now where we're right down on top of that eardrum again? Um, and now, one thing to mention is wax doesn't form this deep. It never forms as deep and on top of the eardrum like this one has. So what you're going to get with this one, this is basically, this has been pushed in. Uh, and, and, you know, I understand why. Patients get desperate. You know, they, they want to hear better. They're really struggling. So it's, uh, you know, people just resort to, to try to get it out any way they can, really. So a lot of patients will end up using a Q-tip or a cotton bud to try and help out, just try and get rid of this wax. Uh, and not really realizing that they're actually causing more of a problem because they're pushing it further in. Now, this is what you want to see when you get this, get a sm this little sort of smushy, almost said, that might be a word, smushy wax, we'll call it smushy wax. Um, when you get a grip on it, you see the whole thing just lift and peel really nicely off the eardrum. Now, that's what you want. <laughs> want to see when you have this type of wax but we've got a little bit more tucked around the anterior recess now this is where it gets really difficult because if you've got wax especially the softer wax tucked around there not always the easiest to get out because if there's a bit of structure to the wax you can hold on to it pull the whole thing out when you're doing this you're just taking surface layers off luckily a lot of this is jumping up towards the suction tube and get a grip and we can see the eardrum beyond it's looking nice and healthy there as well. Go, oh, sorry guys, I'll just remind you again, if you don't mind, liking, sharing, subscribing, following, hearting, and all those lovely, lovely things for me, that would be absolutely fantastic. Um, we're just getting rid of this a little bit. You will see the lovely Mr. Taylor Green as well. He, I think we're due to voice over some videos at the end of our week here in clinic. So fingers crossed, you're gonna get, I think, I think, it might be two or three videos uh, with myself and Taylor next week as well. So you, you look forward to that one. You can see now, we just went to get this little bit off the canal wall. Look at the skin that's peeling down there. Look at that coming away, guys. That is a huge piece of skin. So it's coming away really well. Let's get rid of that. You can really see that. So we switch down to the fine end. As soon as we encounter skin, a lot of the time, I will switch down to a fine end uh, quite quickly, unless it's really, really tough skin, in which case the fine end is just not going to be able to, to sort of pull that, that really tough skin out, almost like keratin type of skin as well. So it's come away really nicely. There we go. You can see the eardrum looking lovely and healthy. Uh, I think there's just a little, ah, there is, yeah, just a little bit to the bottom right corner. I just spotted as we just moved position with the camera. So we're just going to suction that little tiny bit up. There we go. Lovely light reflex on that eardrum as well. So this is what it looked like before. This is what it looks like afterwards. You can see a very, very different eardrum there. Um, oh, is there a gap? Oh, no, there's a bit of skin. Right, I could work out where there's two pieces on the side. Uh, two centimeters, three quarters of an inch there, guys, uh, out of that one. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I did voicing it over. Uh, thank you very much for watching our video today. As always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of your ears, and take care of one another. Uh, me and Taylor will see you for the next video. Bye, everyone.